Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, um, well this whole week, me and my husband were on our third um, or second anniversary cruise and we're on the um, Carnival Horizon. And today I just want to do a YouTube channel, excuse me, a YouTube makeup tutorial on the makeup that I do wear when I'm on um, vacation. Now, do I wear makeup every day? No, I do not. But when I do, this is what I do. All right, so also um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And also like the um, video when we're done. All right, so again, this is makeup that I wear um, when I go to cruise on the Caribbean. All right, so let me start off with... Um, I use this primer. It's called Avon Magics, and it has SPF of 20 already in it. So it's a great um, matte finish primer that I use. Why? Because it already has SPF in it, and that's awesome. It protects my skin from the sun rays. So make sure I blend that in really good. When you put sunscreen on, a lot of times on dark skin, it turns white. But you have to just make sure you blend it in really well. Alright, blend it in. Alright, so the, um, after I do that, um, I do my brows. Now, let me preface this by saying, this is not the normal brow Pompeii that I normally use. I usually use Anastasia. However, um, I didn't risk wanting to bring her because she's so expensive. So I brought this little off brand, and it's a tad dark, so don't come, come don't come for me. But um, so I had to have something because you see how sparse my little brows are. So um, I brush them up first, and I line them up. Putting on my brows. Uh, uh. Putting on my brows. Uh, uh. I'm really looking into getting my brows Michael Reddit, y'all. Because this right here, every day, is straight annoying. Putting on brows. But we will see. If I do do that, get my eyebrow brows Michael Blade, um, I will definitely do a video on it. But yeah, I'm looking into that for the summertime. This right here is straight annoying. All right, um, so after I dry them in, I use a spoolie, just my spoolie, just to blend this out. See how? Yeah. So looks make more like an ombre look. Yeah. See that? See this? So I'm blending this out. Get more of an ombre finish. Right, ombre meaning um, it's, it starts off lighter and then it gets darker. All right, so as you can tell, as I can tell, this is not match. I mean, this is um, uneven. So then I use my concealer. This is from C and C Concealer. The color is Warm Honey. So I usually do a lighter concealer underneath, and I just brush that off. And this is the one I need to come for. This is that right here. All right. I usually like my eyebrows very angled. So I'm going to try to do my magic. Yeah, I'm going to fix this. Um. Give the look that I want. All right, so on the top, I go with a darker color. Um, let's see here. The color I'm using this is from Mary Kay and it's bronze, too. Put this, put your mouse stick up here, and then, then brush it and blend it the top of the brow. I'm 
me go ahead and put some concealer on my little problem areas here. I know I got this little brown spot. Get my little blush out of here. Alright. Now mind you, it's still not the angle that I want, so um that's just me being a perfectionist. I always start with my brows first because they take the longest. Now do you see why I want to get the marker bladed? Because this right here takes the most. Oh, this might have to do. Yeah. Alright, so after I have the concealer on, then I must blend. Blend, 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 blend. I have a little blender brush. A little tiny flat. Make sure you blend this in really good. I will blend the tops of my brows in a minute. Now, I used to say that for last. I usually like blend right in here. I'm not blending that right now. Okay. All right. Next is foundation. All right. So my new favorite foundation, as of right now is called Flawless Matte and it's by Color City Color. I'll tell you why I love this. This right here is a lifesaver for us uh, girls who are oily. The brush I am using is called a stripling brush. It makes you have like it gives you a good um, airbrush finish so it doesn't look like you have tons and tons like you know that pancake look. Mm -mm, we ain't trying to go for that. So again you just tap we just tap, tap, tap. You're tapping that foundation on. Yes, you're tapping it on. And again, it gives a nice, the finish that it gives to me life. And um, it is not, um, again, it gives a, um, it's, but the design of a stripling brush is to give an airbrush finish. Foundation, strip and rush. All right, next is concealer. Now this is the same color that I used underneath my brows. I'm gonna put that underneath. And again, this is my Fast and Furious. Um, I use when I'm on vacay. Underneath my eye. I do not bake. I don't have time for all that. When I'm on vacay. I blend it in with my little handy dandy. I love. I bought these off of um, eBay, and they just keep my nails from getting uh, makeup on them. And I pat. I pat pat on here. Oh, another thing about this makeup, and you'll see when I put post my pictures online, you um, this does not give a flashback. So you're not looking like a ghost when you're taking pictures. Yeah, no flashback. All right, let me go ahead and blend this back in out, out here. All right, the next thing I want to do is um, I'll go in back with my little brush here just to blend so it's not so, um, I'm going to put it, I'm trying to make it look a little natural even though it's not, but anyway. so 
yes, I like the contour, but it's not it's not that serious. It's, it's not that bad. Alright, so I use the LA Girl. This is what color is this? This is mahogany. So when you do a contour, use secular chin, your arm mouth in, get a little duck face. Line it up. See how that see it quick. Have a little brush. Blend it out. Blend. We're trying to anyway. Alright, I'm gonna have to take some of this on my forehead. I got a little tan here. So I'm gonna take some of this on my forehead. Just so um Next is my cheek color because of course you're not gonna leave it like that. It's just like a line. Okay, that's not cute. This is um, it's called Corilla. I think it's Milani. Yeah, it's Milani. And it has beautiful shimmers in it. So I'm gonna take this just to blend that line out because that's that's not cute at all, y'all. Not at all. See how I blend that line out? And then if I have, when I have a uh, cheek color hanging on the sides, I take my brush just to, yep, there you go. We're almost there at my, um, let's blend this up some more. Again, you do not, make sure you blend your forehead and underneath your chin. That's not cute. Alright. Eyebrows and eyelashes. Okay, yes, I do wear eyelashes when um, I'm on my trip. So, I start first with lining my line, my, uh, my eyes first. So, I just, this is a, I'll give you the brand in a minute. This is Maybelline, no L'Oreal, excuse me, L'Oreal, um, the Blackster. I was gonna go, came up with his name. Who came up with his name? Black, but excuse me, Blackbuster. Okay, that sounds a little better. It's called the Blackbuster. All right, the next thing I do is for my lashes, and um. All right, so have my handy dandy tw tweezers. This um, glue is called Duo, and it's strip lash adhesive, and it's for it's dark. Okay, so it's gonna come out gray, then it's gonna dry black. Okay, so I start off. Let's see here, making sure that's nice and tight. All you need is a little bit. I'm a little happy handed, so sometimes when I do this, it will, you know. So I'm trying to put it on just a little bit. And make sure you get the, um, put it on the edges. That's the main part. You don't want your um, lashes to fly off. Mm hmm. It's not cute. All right, so it takes 30 seconds for this to dry. So let's count to 10 three times because that's all I can count in Spanish. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Um, I don't want to count to three, three times. So let me tell you also what I ate on this trip. As a vegetarian, limited options. Well, not necessarily, but it is for me when when you're full of uh, when a lot of the food on the ship is a bunch of burgers and other food like that. So I eat a lot at the Blue Iguana. That is a Mexican joint. Really delicious. Um, when it comes to size, I eat like the potatoes and the broccoli. Let's um, see, salads. Let's see, what else? Um, as a vegetarian, you can eat on this ship. 
Um, I'm sure if I did the um, the dining, there'll be there's vegetarian options as well. Just me and my husband very picky. All right, this should be 30 seconds after that. All right, so we're getting ready to put this on here. I'll make sure to look down. And there's this little mirror right here. Let me put this. Make sure y'all can see this. All right, let me turn to this other little mirror. This is what I love this mirror. Um, well, on this ship. And I'll turn back around. Wait a minute. Now you want to make sure that you get it on the lash line. Make sure you get those lashes as close to that lash line as possible. And you will know, I guess one thing I do like about this, um, this eyelash gel is that it dry, it starts off gray, but when it finished drying, when it's finished drying, it will turn black. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. All right, one is on. Whoop, whoop. All right, now for the second one. Same thing. They only need a little bit of gel. So if you're heavy handed, try not to be so heavy handed. And you just glide it on there. Try to smooth that out. Make sure you have the edges. That's very important. All right, close it up so you don't dry it out. And you can blow on it, but you wanna wait 30 seconds for it to get tacky. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Yes. All right. Guess what, y'all? We're almost done. But yeah, you do not want to put this directly on your eyelids. It's not, not a good look. Let's count to 10 one more time. It should be 30 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the 1. Directly on that lash line as close as you can. You want to hold it down for a little bit so it holds down really good. Especially that inner corner. I always, my inner corner always wants to coming up. So I'm holding on to that inner corner for dear life, y'all. We are at a new port today and it comes, um, we don't dock until like 1.45. Normally ports, we usually dock early in the morning, maybe like 8 o'clock. So this is new. Only thing is this, um, we won't leave until like 10 o'clock, so that's kind of cool. Alright. Alright, the next step. I do is I usually have problems doing winged, doing putting wings on my eyes. So I brought these wing stamps off of Amazon. It's called Wing Liner Stamp, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. So this is again one of the last things I do. You just put it on here. Look at that. It's awesome, ain't it? All right, I'm gonna do the other side. And then you just connect the dots. La 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 la. Connect the liner. La, 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 la. Woo! Okay, that one didn't do so good. Let's try again. Alright, so then all I do now is take the other side and, like, for instance, that one went as dark and I just connect it. Yes! 
and it'll go over top of it. And it just, 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 just perfects the look, just finishes it. Let's just finish it there, I got over top with that. Finishes it up. Alright, so that's how I do my liner. And I always just do the top, that's just me. Alright, now my last thing I do um, is I have this um what do you call it? This is like liquid highlighter and um, color three. It doesn't have a color. And I put this right on the top, yes. You see this? See the shimmer? So I'm taking pictures with me and my hub. I have this fierce looking highlight going on. And then I use my finger, only time I really use my finger, and I just take it and I just dab a do right over top. I love this highlight, be honest, Dad. I love it so much. I love it so much. All right, so we are technically done here. And um, I just want to say um, thank you for all my subscribers who have subscribed, being patient with me, getting ready to finish school so I have more time to do more videos. Now I'm just going to blend this out. Please subscribe to my channel. That will be awesome. And there you go. That is my finished look. Hold on. Hold on. Put some lip gloss on. A little, a little lip gloss and a little highlight to my nose I like to highlight my nose yes if i can find it yes i can <laughs> a little highlight to my nose and we are done you see this see this it didn't take it didn't take all that long see but you do you see how long it took my eyebrows that is why i really want to get my eyebrows done and it will take off about 10 10 15 minutes off my routine but again thank you for subscribing I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope a wonderful week. Stay blessed. See you when I see you. Bye bye.